What's up, Aquarius? My name is Lisa. For those of you that don't know, um, this is going to be a message for Twin Flames, Aquarius, Twin Flames, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign. I'm doing these in June, but it's for whatever month or whenever you see these videos, see this video. Um, it's like there's a sense of heartache, like healing. It feels like indecision. I don't know what happened here. There's some communication going in. There's something happening very quickly. Some of you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Okay, temperance is about divine timing and healing. Coming into balance, I'm hearing. All right, give me, I'm going to do divine feminine, divine masculine, connection, energy in between. And, and just know that these connections, because they are so, you guys are so tightly intertwined or whatever, it's like, and because it's general, it's like, it could be vice versa, okay? Oh, my nose is just, okay, give me a card for the Divine Feminine. Yeah, wanting to move on. I feel like Divine Feminine, you may have recently uh, become aware of some sort of truth. And I say that because most Six of Swords cups in regular tarot, or Six of Swords cups, what the hell am I saying? The Six of Swords, all right, um... They're like standing up in this boat. The swords are standing up in the boat. Like, so they're literally like stuck in the boat, which means that there's holes in the boat. Okay. So I always interpret that as like, if there's holes in the boat. That means that the, like water could get in and the boat could sink. So it's like, um, you know, getting in this boat, it's like not really seeing the truth of a situation, you know, and, uh, kind of being in denial. I feel like whatever's recently gone down because, the Six of Swords comes after the Five of Swords. There's been obviously some sort of conflict. That's what the Five of Swords um, stands for. It's like some sort of conflict, okay? And um, where nobody wins, all right? Both both people or all people involved are, are heartbroken, all right? And I definitely picked up on heartbreak here. But it's like whatever it was, you see the truth. Like you're no longer denying the truth of the situation, okay? That's the Divine Feminine energy. But um, I do feel like... You're still in rough waters, okay? You're just like, but you're looking for a solution, okay? Yeah, see, so you're wanting to communicate. You may even, um, that's the card for travel, communication, things happening quickly. Maybe this awareness came out, this truth came out of nowhere, okay? You just weren't expecting it. Yeah, see, whatever it did, it turned the wheel, all right? But there's there's an opportunity here for a new beginning. I also feel like Divine Feminines, you could be working on some sort of new business, okay? I feel like you're just wanting to leave all conflict behind, wherever you're having it, like um, at home or in the um, in the workplace, you're just, and that's why you possibly could be thinking about starting a new business or learning some sort of trade or something like that. All right, give me one card for the Divine Masculine. Ooh, Justice. Okay, this card came out while I was shuffling as well. So um, that's Libra energy. So some of you could be dealing with a Libra, but um, if you watch my channel, you know how I feel about science. Like, it's just... Um, but something's off balance here, okay? So I feel like something... There's been some sort of injustice here, okay? Because the scales are... Like, he wants to make things right. Yeah, see, because, see, he's holding the sword of truth, but the sword is pointed down. And I feel like this is the truth that you saw, Divine Feminine. Okay, you saw some sort of truth about your masculine that you can no longer deny. Okay? But whatever came out, it made this Divine Masculine wiser. And now he wants to make it right. But um, I'm hearing something about seeing blind. What's here? Yeah, movement forward. This is this is the victory card, okay? This Divine Masculine could have recently gotten a new car. But this is also a card for travel here, all right? But this is also about um, the chariot. I can, I, I always, not always, but it does always pop up to me about how the chariot, like this is what you, it's just a very magical card, a very spiritual, spiritual card for me. It's about somebody like trying to come into balance with themselves, Okay. And I feel like that's what this, because this is also about a card of balance, right? Okay. Because I feel like whatever truth came out, I'm hearing he got served, whatever that means. Okay. I, 
I get the sense that like somebody somebody like let out a secret about this masculine. I, I don't I don't know what happened, but it's like um I'm feeling like this energy of like gossip and um but whatever it came out, it was like kind of like karma that this divine masculine needed to go through to learn this lesson because he is wiser now. He wants to make the situation right, but um I feel like this Divine Masculine had his priorities, like, totally messed up here. Whew. All right. Feels kind of heavy. All right. So give me a card for the connection. Yeah. See, this is on pause. You're both holding, holding yourselves back to kind of see the situation uh, from a different perspective, trying to see, like, can we move on from here? Like, the truth can no longer be de denied about whatever happened here. All right, but now it's just a matter of, like, how do we move forward? Um, that's, that's, that's what I'm feeling. Yeah, see, and here's this Nine of Pentacles. It's like, do we move on away from each other? Single, you guys um, may be separated. Even if you live under the same house, it's just like, you may be just non, not really talking to each other right now. Because there's a sense of maturity here, like wanting to handle the situation in the best possible way, okay? Like not wanting to make any kind of drastic decision because it feels like a drastic decision is on the table here. It could even be like divorce or separation of some sort. I definitely feel some sort of separation, all right? And the Knight of Pentacles is that independence, okay? Okay. For some of you, this is you guys, because they just said there's like, for some of you, you're both leaving other situations to come together, but it's like, that's the, the question as well. Yeah, see, here's this um, Three of Cups, which is about reuniting and, you know, yeah, and here's this new beginning here, all right? But there's also, um, this this can also be like, a third party situation, but it's like this nine of pentacles is on the table. It's like the overall energy, because I feel like you're both considering just being single. This is also two people working on their independence. All right. Let me see. What is this? Look, see engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And then it says, give your relationship a chance. So I feel like this is what's on the table. It's like whether or not to keep moving forward in this connection, trying something differently or moving on to singlehood. Okay. Because I feel like, um, I want to, I want to get a clarifier for this nine of pentacles over here because it's like, I feel like this is a separate energy. Okay. Who, who is this Nine of Pentacles? This is the offer coming in for the Ten of Pentacles. So some of you may be getting engaged. Somebody's like thinking, like, this is like, this Divine Masculine is like, yeah, wanting to make things right. This person, whatever, there's, there's, this, there's a group here that's like, this connection, it's like, I feel like you haven't heard from this Divine Masculine in a really long time, okay? And this is the Knight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving Knight of the deck, okay? Um, and while you've been in separation from this person, because this feels, definitely feels like somebody is coming back here, that is for sure. But in the meantime, you've built something for yourself. Like you have everything. Let me see. Give me one card for the Divine Feminine. Ooh. All right. We're getting two. Oh, wow. Look. Calling your soulmate and the soulmate card and release your ex. See, I'm telling you, I feel like some of you have re recently walked away from a connection. And it's like, I feel like... Um, 
I'm obviously reading for a couple of different groups here, okay? Because I definitely feel like both of you are leaving separate situations, okay? Uh, other situations to come be together. Although, you may not, because the hangman is, is in here, it's like, I don't feel like this has really been discussed between the two of you. Like, you both don't know that the other person has left their, their um, other connection. I feel like this this um, divine feminine energy over here, like you're just like done. You're just done with the drama and the heartache, and and it's like you've healed enough to just be ready to leave. And although you're still feeling a little bit in your head, it's like you're still staying open somehow for this love. All right, and this new love is coming in for sure. Some of you, it's it's been a long time. Your divine masculine has taken a long time. Give me one card for this divine masculine. Yeah, see this this guy's in heartache over here. And see, there's the three party three party situation. Somebody's wearing a false mask here. Yeah, heart to heart conversation. This divine masculine's ready to talk. He's ready. It's like I don't know what he did. All right. But what they're saying, it was wrong, wrong, wrong. All right. But this divine masculine is ready to talk. All right. And there's the heart to heart conversation. Give me one more for this divine masculine. Oh, we're getting to look true love and stay optimistic about your love life. Because this, this divine mask, see, he's holding his sword, but it's not up. Like, he's putting his sword down. Like, he no longer wants to fight. Like, whatever went down between you two, he grew from it, okay? But it's like, can I really recover from it? Can I redeem myself? And you're, and the divine feminine's over here like... You totally love this person, but it's just like, you can't take it anymore. And, and, and Aquarius, like this energy has come up consistently the last few months. It's just like, whoever you've been dealing with, just like, yeah, tries your last fucking nerve. But whatever happened last time, like they learned it. Okay. But they had to learn it in like the worst possible way. Like I feel like it literally broke your heart, Divine Feminine, in this connection here. Look, free free yourself. All right, give me one card for the connection. Give me one card for the connection. All right, we're getting to look reconciliation and make the effort. Wow. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Look, express your love. There's a conversation coming here, or it could have already happened, but it's like there's definitely a, co a conversation com coming. Most of these twin flame connections, pretty much every single reading I've done this month, there's been some type of healing going on within your connections and reconciliation. And um, But they're coming after some serious fucking heartache, all right? I'm not even going to lie. Like this, it like broke you down. But that's because whatever these, these relationships were, whatever they were built on, like they started in third party energies or both of you had other people or whatever it was, it was not a firm foundation and that foundation needed to fucking crumble. Okay. And unfortunately, because neither one of you was really, um, learning the lessons that you needed to learn along the way, like the divine had to step in. Okay. Because they do want you to be together, but not the way that it, that it's been. It can't be freaking off balance. Okay. There's major forgiveness being learned here and just like humbling. Leveling of pride going on big time. All right. Give me some advice here for Aquarius. Say no. Uh, who else got this? Gemini. Say no. That, that's, that's what this divine feminine did. She, she's saying no. 
She's like, I'm not dealing with any more fucking drama. Okay, whether that's within this connection or anywhere. Like, she's not de dealing with any more drama. And it hurts her because I feel like she's moving away from people and situations that she really loves. Look, becoming a clear channel. Yeah, by letting go of detoxifying her life. That's what they just said. Bust out of your cocoon. Okay, because, yeah, I'm, I just heard the word entrapment. All right. Like you both have been holding each other, holding yourselves back. OK. In that hermit mode, you know. But it's time to break free. And I, I feel like that card came out too, the break free card. Look, tune out distractions. All right. Give me one more card for this connection. Look, make a plan. Make a plan on how. Um, this can be rebuilt. Okay. Make a plan for whatever businesses are getting started because I definitely feel like there's some Aquarius out there that are, are starting some sort of new business. I just, I just heard not everybody's meant for you. Some just want to take from you. So whoever that's for look, strengthen your gifts. Yeah, that's what this buster out of your cocoon is, okay? Because some of you are um, healers and you're, they said they're, you're coveting your gifts and you have your gifts to share with the world, okay? To heal those around you. So um, it's like make a plan of action. So maybe that's, that's your, um, if you have a spiritual based business, but I feel like there's many of you that have like just businesses in general, but there's also a group of you that's like, uh, spiritual based business and it's like you you're holding yourself back out of fear all right but it's like this this saying no is also saying no to those voices in your head saying that you're not good enough or you're not ready because you're ready and it's time for you to yeah this and this is also what the, the make a plan is like make a because i feel like you may be getting a little bit overwhelmed and especially because you've had to move away from some people maybe some people that were helping you but then it like came out that they're not really helping you you're they're doing more harm to you so now it's like you have a, that's why that card um i feel like they're they're ask your friends for help okay asking the angels your angels and guides to assist you and they're, they're going to be putting people in your life that you can trust and that you can count on all right but put it down on paper everything that you need to do and just do one thing at a time Whew. all right Let's get one of these. One more card here. You and your loved ones are safe. Okay, that's always good to know. And nothing is yet set in stone. Okay, so yeah, they, I just, I'm hearing um, da, 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 um, Katy Perry, it's never really over or something. Yeah, so emotions are running high. And I feel like I, I said that before. Yeah, with this, okay, it's like, You've only just left this chaos. You've only like just started to step away or just became aware of what you need to pull away from. All right. So everything hasn't calmed down yet, but as you continue to say no to the right people or no to the wrong people in your life. Okay. Because I feel like this has definitely been highlighted for you, Aquarius. Um, and the more that you focus on healing yourself, that's like what's going to help you to and make this plan of action because as twin flames, we're here for service to others, okay? To help others. Like, as we heal, we help others heal, okay? that That's what's going down here. And some of you are holding your, like, like, you see how this person is, like, holding their own string. It's like, you guys are holding yourselves back from this. I'm here and make peace with the past. I finally learned to let it go. That's John Mayer. Um, Shadow days. All right. There you go, guys. I will see you next month. If you're interested in a personal reading, all my information is in the description box. Bye.